Okay, we're going to commence the growler test again. Uh, I have a different type of cap now, and uh, I've already drilled it, placed the tubing in it. We'll connect that to the uh, um, CO2 tank uh, tubing leading off the pressure regulator and uh, do the test again. So uh, let's uh, make sure our growler is completely full. It's a little bit below the top. It's always a good idea to, uh, uh, to fill it. So let's see if I can uh, I do that here. Okay, now we have it filled to the very top. And um, we'll go ahead and put our put our cap on. <clears throat> if I can get a good grip on that, fully tighten it. I'll use this. Okay, that's about as tight as I can get it. <clears throat> and before we uh, connect, we'll go ahead and. Uh, safety we'll um, put our uh, metal shield over that and take it one step further and put our uh, second milk crate on top we shouldn't have to worry about safety now whoops have to worry about uh, the tubing going back in there that's for sure So now let me make the uh, uh, connection. Go ahead and put the tubing into the connector there, so we're good. And uh, now we can start pressurizing our growler with the new cap and find out if we're going to have a cap failure or a uh, growler bottle wall failure. So let's. Uh, Let's turn on the gas. Okay, so now we have gas. And we'll turn the regulator up and start adding pressure to our system here. And, uh, we'll listen for leaks. Okay, we're starting to move. Looks like 20 PSI, 30 PSI, 40 50, no, uh, no evidence of, uh, no audible evidence of leaks, 60, 70, 80, 90 PSI, still no audible evidence 100 110 120 there you go. okay so we made it up to around 120 or 130 right uh, so, um, <clears throat> something failed. Um, we don't know exactly what that was yet, but we're going to uh, take a look and see. Okay, that's uh, pretty obvious what failed there. The cap completely blew off before the, uh, the growler burst. So, uh, will that happen with, uh, with 100% of the growlers? Uh, <laughs> I can't, there's, uh, this is not proof of that. There's no way to tell. And, uh, but you can see the cap, uh, the pressure on the 38 millimeter cap, if you calculate the uh, pi r squared, uh, 
pi times 17 squared, you get how many millimeters, and you convert that to uh, square inches and come up with, uh, you know, how much force was against this at 100, and I think we were finally at around 130 PSI or so. Uh, so if there's two square inches there, there's 260 pounds of force that was required to blow that cap. It's interesting that uh, the bottle was uh, strong enough to withstand that. That speaks very uh, well of the bottle. And uh, so uh, obviously no beer needs to be uh, pressurized to that. But, uh, you know, if you can easily go up to 120, then, uh, and the cap uh, fails, then uh, I think that 60 PSI might be a, a safe uh, pressure. Engineers like to use a 4 to 1 factor of safety, and if that's the case, then 30 PSI is, uh, uh, you know, a little bit, uh, pretty close to beer pressure, uh, is all you'd want to put it to. But uh, I've pressurized hundreds of these glass growlers to 60 PSI, and uh, the only reason that I did it was to get the gas uh, uh, into the uh, a container a little faster. If you're putting if you're uh, putting gas into a container at 30 psi, it'll take you forever to reach 30 psi. You'll get up to 15 pretty fast, but then the 20 is going to take a while, and that last 10 psi might take you two or three hours. So if you're uh, pressurizing your growler at say 60 psi input pressure especially if you're pressurizing uh, the uh, thing through a, uh, a fizz gives uh, plug valve like the one you see installed on this cap that one has about uh, uh, oh 10 to 15 uh, psi uh, cracking pressure which it takes that much just to get through the valve so if you're pushing 60 through the valve, then only 45 will make its way into the bottle, and it'll take a long, long time to reach the 45. So, um, that's how you do a pressure test on a bottle, and if your cap was strong enough, for example, if we'd had a steel cap, then we could have pressurized this, and I, I think the uh, glass uh, growler would have failed uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of around, say, 100 and, uh, 100 and, uh, you know, 120, 130 uh, may, or may, maybe it would have gone up to 150, but uh, it's a very, very strong uh, container. It uh, doesn't mean they're all going to be that strong, so test your own. If you want to know uh, what's safe, uh, then you better find out where your point of failure is. So I would feel very safe pressurizing this growler with, say, 45 to 60 PSI. No problems whatsoever. Hopefully helpful.